I'm uh, I'm talking about her now. Uh, Dr. Tamina Islam worked as an assistant professor at the Department of Botany, University of Dhaka, Bangladesh. Currently, she is doing her postdoctoral research in the Plant Breeding Institute of University of Kiel, Germany. Her main research focus is plant stress biology and genome editing. She has completed her bachelor's and master's from the Department of Botany, University of Dhaka. Her PhD dissertation focused on abiotic stress tolerance in rice, which she completed from the International Center for G Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, New Delhi, India. With her work, she aims to develop stress-resilient crops in context of the South Asian subcontinent, specifically Bangladesh. Um, um, Dr. Islam, uh, our young viewers uh, would be very interested to know what motivated you to take up plant science research and how you built your career as a researcher. Uh, okay, so already if I talk about my career, yeah, it's very early to talk about, but still, yeah, I know like uh, the target group is different from ours. So I would say, uh, to be frank, I would not, I would not lie. Uh, uh, at the beginning, I was not really onto the plant biology. I was not really interested, to be frank. Uh, I, I wanted to be a doctor or something, but unfortunately I couldn't pass the exam, but somehow I get into the biology department. And there, um, one of my professor, when I was in my bachelor's in the third year, he really taught us very well the molecular biology. And that triggers me actually, you know, like uh, that not only we are not only um, constructed into only the plant uh, system and also there are so many things to do. So that clicked on my mind and I would like to mention my professor name as well. He was a professor, Dr. Rakhavi Shorkar. He really encouraged us on that one. Then later on, I did my master thesis uh, with him and that was the window, I would say. So when I entered into the lab, um, I came to a very, another prominent scientist and his professor, Dr. Yamin Dadul Hof. He was also a very encouraging person and he really motivated me to do onto the research. So you can say like completely a person who was not really interested to that, but I became much more involved in the, uh, into the plant system and also Basically, now I liked it very much. This is the only system I would like to talk. And later on, I went for PhD immediately after my master's. Before my master's, I got the position for this PhD and I went there. And ICGB, it was a very, very nice institute, I would say, on that time. It was really good and plant molecular biology group was really nice over there. So. I found my supervisor who was um, Dr. M. K. Reddy, he, who was very cooperative on the time. And he actually gave me all the opportunity to work by myself. He uh, let me to do the thing that other way I want. So that's how really I get onto myself, not to depend on the others, but to do the way you are. Yes. Then, um, yeah, I would say, so my master's lab and also my PhD lab, and also very nice colleagues over there. They are really, really nice colleagues over there. They really focus, they are, they are really focused on that time. We discuss about science, we discuss about how to do the research. Actually, PhD period is the training period, I would say. You learn so many things. That time you need not to be very, uh, you should be very passionate but not really, you know, like strict to something that you have to achieve this because here mm -hmm. uh, on that time, you are there just for learning. So you are learning and you are trained up for the future. Mm -hmm. So that training period, I would say actually completely changed my concept about science and from there now where I am. So <laughs> that's it. Okay. Um, all the best for your future endeavors. Uh, my next question is that, uh, what, according to you, is the future of genome editing in plant sciences? Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a very uh, like important topic nowadays. I, I can say this is the hot topic nowadays. So also here in Germany, I'm working on the genome editing. So my whole project is based on that. But uh, I would say uh, like every day, if you go through the journal or the publications, you will find there are lots of paper coming every day on the genome editing. So each of the day you will find thousands of people are working there. So that means something really interesting over there. And also it's a big thing. 
So I would say so far people are really editing in a um, single gene or uh, maybe into the low scale, uh, but there are some points that I would uh, like to um, address here. For example, multiplexing or track, or multiplexing or stacking of several genes. You know, this, so plant system in several pathways, there are so many genes that work together. So maybe change into a single gene cannot give you the expected phenotype that you want. Mm -hmm. So it is necessary sometimes to really stack or multiplex of several genes altogether so that you can find. So nowadays, uh, this concept is coming up. So this is uh, very important. And also, I would say that I am also working uh, to develop a system so that we can stack multiple genes over there and we can target them at the same way, same time. So this is very important. And this is, um, I think, up to date. And also, I would say this uh, high throughput mutant libraries is also very important because there are so many genome sequences available, but all of them are not really... Um, analyzed so far and also uh, it's not possible to go through one by one it will take a longer time to analyze them because loss of function analysis is very important to analyze the function of a single gene mm -hmm. so maintenance of a high throughput mutant libraries in a single way would be very efficient in a sense and also the gene regulation not only the gene, uh, gene knock in or knock out and also uh, regulation in a way so that you can change the expression of a particular gene by changing uh, base pairs. Now, very recently, you, uh, you, you must heard about this prime editing already came. So that is very much into this time uh, we can discuss with and we can work with in future with the genome editing. All right. Um, uh, what are your future plans for improving agriculture in Bangladesh? Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, as a Bangladeshi, um, I was discussing about uh, with a few shoe poles and regarding that, I would definitely go back to Bangladesh. It's my plan. I never wanted to stay outside. So uh, if I, uh, I will go back very soon. And if I work there, so um, for the agriculture, maybe I will work with the stress biology because uh, uh, from the Asian subcontinent, you know that we suffer from various stresses. Although these kind of stresses you will not find in Europe and uh, other places, but mm -hmm. in Bangladesh and uh, in, in the Asian subcontinent, you will find very high quantity of drought and also flooding. We are always uh, under the plan. Mm -hmm. So this is a very critical condition for us. So I would definitely like to work with those uh, aspects. And also, as I learned uh, how to do the genome editing, also I would like to work on that as well so that I can really improve some of the varieties or some of the plants so mm -hmm. that we can improve the yield contents as well. So this should be my focus, like with uh, some stress biology and also with, uh, in combination of genome editing. Great. Uh, uh, my last question uh, to you is that, uh, what would your words of advice be to the youngsters who want to take up a career in plant science research? Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I, I don't consider myself <laughs> very yeah, efficient to comment on that, but uh, uh, yes, like, um, I can tell from my experience that uh, if someone told me at when I was in PhD uh, or when I was in the, at the beginning of my uh, career, so uh, that I, I can share actually. I would like to hear on that time uh, like if somebody told me those. So I think first thing should be uh, passion to be frank. Like you should be very dedicated and passionate about your work. So this is very much important. So that is the one thing then consistency you should, you know, because, you, you know, every day is not the same. Every day is different. Every day is different from the other distance. So new challenge comes and mm -hmm. you cannot expect that it's a smooth life and also a very, you know, softly handed life. It's not like that. You will find a, a roller coaster in your PhD life and throughout the cell. So you need to be very consistent and need to be prepared for the bumpy rides. So that is to say you should not, uh, lose your hope at the end. And also these two things uh, that I will go to, uh, I, um, I will go uh, say that because, and this thing I learned now actually from my professor here in Germany, Professor Christian Jung, he always um, tell us to ask questions. So it is very important to ask questions because mm -hmm. uh, what I find they normally, uh, there are so many questions in our mind, but we don't ask. 
but mm -hmm. it is necessary to ask. And also you should have a very clear definition in your mind when you are doing some experiments to distinguish between your aims and objectives and what is your expectation, basically. So before performing any experiments and before performing any of the research, um, you should clearly define what is your aim and what is your expectation. So it should be very clear. And um, finally, you should love your work. Whatever you are doing, you should enjoy it. That's the main thing. You should enjoy it until at the end of the day, you will love it. That's the great words of advice. Um, uh, we are very happy, we're very happy to have you here today. Uh, let's